So in our last video, we finished publishing this um, component wrap library. And now what I'm going to do is show you how to use it in one of your projects. So inside the code of the old projects, what I have done is I started the React server by running uh, npm start. But before I did that, I copied and pasted the old package JSON. So this new package JSON, um, this is the new one, sorry, the red, with the stuff specific to the package. I've taken that out and put the old one. So when I first created the project, I basically went into GitHub, um, got got the first commit, and then looked at the package JSON here, the original one, uh, copied and pasted it into the project, and then ran npm start. So now I've got a simple create wrapped up running. Don't need that tab. So what I'm going to do is import my button into it. And to install the button component or our library, all we have to do is run this command, but we have to change the registry. So copy that. Um, let's do this inside a new tab. So in a new tab, actually, let me, let me cancel the whole server. It makes more sense to do that way. So put this here. Uh, I can't actually see what I'm typing. So what I'm going to do is make this a bit smaller so I can see what I'm typing unless it's my face. Change the registry to be the GitHub one because by default it will do the normal npm package registry, which is not what we want. So we're going to install this on a project. Hit the enter key. I'll cut the video so this won't. This might take some time, so I'll cut to um, show you after it's been installed. Okay, and now that's done, we should now inside our package JSON see our newly created package inside um, here. So this is it and we should be able to use it in our project as normal. So if we go into our um, yep, app TSX, what we're going to do is import our button. Actually, it should just be able to do button as normal, I think. From, um, what did I call it? Is it gonna, here we go. Uh, and it has to be, I think it has to be slash button. I can't remember. I don't know what this means, but hopefully it, <laughs> this will work. So we've got a button here, and we had a prop called text, so we'll call that test. Close that, save. So if we do npm start, okay. So the previous error we, we got was because there was no type definition file declared in our module we created. Um, and I think I might do a video in the future on how to do that. But for now, I put this line in our TS config file, no implicit any false, so we are allowed to have any inside this component. Um, I also wrapped this inside um, some curly braces because, um, actually, um, because I imported the whole index as a module. But let me just have a look if I were to get rid of these curly braces and just do slash button will that work no that won't work okay so you know curly braces because we're um using our import at the moment so we're using sorry our index.jsx file which should have every single component in there um, and we're just getting the button from there so we put our button in here as usual um and once that's saved uh, as you can see in the browser this is our component we created and this file is using our component library so that's how you go ahead and create a simple component library using uh, create rat app and the GitHub registry. I hope you found this useful. It took us a long time to get there, but we got there in the end. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Uh, follow me on Twitter and ask them there if you want. And as usual, please like and subscribe this video for more like this. Thanks for watching.